welcome to AI for All. The AI for All virtual conference is brought to you under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Initiatives and is organized through a collaboration between Bahrain Polytechnic and the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, the BIBF. The conference aims to bring together artificial intelligence industry experts, professionals, and researchers to discuss and share knowledge about the exciting field of AI, its different applications, and how everyone can take advantage of its opportunities and overcome its challenges. On behalf of the BIBF and the Polytechnic, I'm Amel al Sarani, and I will be your host this morning throughout the conference. Once again, we are delighted to welcome you all to this conference and your presence really makes way for its success. We have a lineup of renowned local and international experts who will be sharing their perceptions and advice on how to reap the benefits of artificial intelligence. First off, please join me in welcoming Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa, Board of Trustees Chairman of Bahrain Polytechnic, Board of Trustees Chairman of Governmental Hospitals. Sheikh Hisham, over to you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa min wala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure for me to be here today in the opening ceremony of this important conference, focusing on artificial intelligence and its impact on our daily life. I'm honored to be with such a distinguished group of speakers panelists and participants who will no doubt enrich this conference with their insights and thoughts over the next two days. Special thanks to His Excellency Mr. Rashid al Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, and our keynote speaker, Dr. Scott Nelson, the Artificial Intelligence Lead at PricewaterhouseCoopers, Middle East. Ladies and gentlemen, technology was invented to better our lives from the invention of the wheel that opened up travel, trade, and migration many millennia ago to the digi digital age of today, where we conduct most of our business with a few taps on our phones or keyboards. No doubt service levels and data speed will continue to develop and grow as more advancements in technology are achieved, not in years, but in months or even weeks. Artificial intelligence was a natural development to help us cope and manage these advancements in technology. The potential power of AI could not have been put to the test in a more challenging environment than with COVID-19 pandemic, where it was used as the frontline tool to combat the virus. According to the Washington Post, AI is being used to sort through millions of gigabytes of data to help with the fight against this virus. Today, a year into the outbreak, scientists are starting to make connections that lead to new theories about the virus and how to eradicate it with the help of artificial intelligence. At Northwestern University, a modeling lab is running large-scale simulations on the effect of travel, restrictions on, and social distancing on infection rates. Closer to us in Egypt, AI is used to counter coronavirus misinformation in the Arabic language. AI has also been front and center in the information dissemination of the World Health Organization. In April of this year, a computer sorting through medical records confirmed that lack of smell and taste, which had been reported mostly anecdotally, were among the earliest symptoms of infection a discovery that influenced the Centers for Disease and Control Prevention, and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to add them to its list of COVID-19 symptoms. In Bahrain, the health measures taken by the government to stop the spread of the virus have disrupted important sectors such as health and education, but with the help of artificial intelligence, 
we have managed to react quickly to our changing circumstances and learn to adapt to them. Being in the education field, we have seen firsthand the challenges faced by schools and higher education institutions due to COVID-19, where students had to adapt quickly to virtual environments as opposed to physical classrooms or lecture halls. The challenge is even more severe for institutions like Bahrain Polytechnic that pride themselves on using applied methods in teaching to give students true workspace and uh, workplace experiences to make them work ready by the time they graduate. Bahrain Polytechnic has taken steps to implement this technology within its operations. We were one of the first higher education institutions in Bahrain to implement technology transformation by moving our operations to the cloud. With the power of cloud computing, this digital transformation has benefited the institution in terms of improved accessibility, reduced costs, and increased collaboration for both staff and students. In addition, we have enrolled a number of our staff in our AI Academy, which will allow us to explore opportunities to implement AI technology to help us in our teaching and learning experience, as well as our practical courses. Additionally, we are offering our final year students the opportunity to implement solutions utilizing AI tools for different organizations. For this reason, Bahrain Polytechnic and BIBF have collaborated to host this two-day virtual conference where we aim to bring together industry experts, professionals, and researchers to shed light on the opportunities and challenges we face with artificial intelligence. This conference comes at an opportune time to help realize the directives of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, for government sectors to focus on developing the kingdom's digital economy and artificial intelligence capabilities. Hosting this important conference will no doubt have a positive impact on Bahrain and all international participants due to the wealth of local and international experiences present. In conclusion, I would like to take this opportunity to thank His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee for his continuous support of many of Polytechnic's initiatives related to artificial intelligence, such as the Khalid bin Hamad competition for innovation in artificial intelligence and the inauguration of our AI Academy. We are honored by his support as we align our efforts to meet the goals of Bahrain's 2030 vision. My thanks to all the participants for being with us today wherever you are located around the globe, and a special thanks to all our distinguished speakers. I wish you all a productive and successful conference. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for your insight, uh, Sheikh Hisham. And now for a word from His Excellency, the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Chairman of the BIBF, Mr. Rashid Mohammed Al Maraj. Over to you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Amal. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa, distinguished guests and participants. Good morning. And on behalf of BIBF, I would like to welcome you all and to thank His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sport, for patronizing this event. The theme of the conference on Artificial intelligence reflect the increasing importance of such evolving technology in our lives. In his opening speech uh, to the current session of Parliament and Shura Council, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa highlighted the importance of the application of AI in the economy and the urgency to put in place the right infrastructure for the effective use of this technology. I am pleased to see BIBF taking the initiative to organize this conference in collaboration with Bahrain Polytech and look forward to see more events on this topic to attract more interest from a wider section of the society. The evolving new technology ac across a wide range of fields will bring disruption 
and a new business model, which makes it imperative on us to get ready for these technological challenges. Banking sector, as an example, is going to be under threat as a result of the new trends in digital banking, payment, and electronic and settlement systems. Artificial intelligence will be the driver of these new innovations. In conclusion, I would like to thank again the patron of this conference, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the organizers, the panelists, and all the participants. And I wish you a successful and useful conference. Thank you.